Hi, Robert Medlin. You know, I want to talk to you today a little bit about how to maintain your peace when things are in a turmoil all around you. And uh, it seems like that can happen a lot uh, in today's world, whether you're uh, just dealing with issues in your community or issues in your family or issues in your job or or wherever, you know, that, that there's a tendency to get anxious and to get and to get out of peace. But the Lord wants us to be in peace. Jesus said, I came so that you would have peace. And, the, and he says, my peace I give to you. And uh, to receive it, he says, in the world you're going to have trouble, but, but in me you're going to have peace. And so the Lord wants us to be in a state of peace even when things are in a turmoil. And so we get in a turmoil when we, when we engage things with our, with our mind and our emotions. Um, and when we, our mind is there to, for our soul to use as a governor, um, our spirit working with our soul to, to govern the things that you actually entertain with your mind. And so uh, the Lord wants us not to be captivated by the things that are going on, all the turmoil that's going on, and to be captivated by his peace. Well, how do you do that? Well, the scriptures, uh, uh, Jesus has given us all these great and precious promises uh, so that by them we can partake of the divine nature. In heaven, there's peace. There's nothing but peace in heaven and peace and joy in heaven. And so we partake of that by, by meditating on his promises, by meditating on his goodness and meditating on his love for us and how much he cares for us and how he's going to take care of us and how powerful our prayers are and how he's going to answer our prayers that helps us stay in peace no matter what's going on. So uh, the, the devil wants to tempt us into getting in a turmoil uh, with everybody else uh, with what's going on and to get in a turmoil and to start looking at all the negatives and start accusing and start judging and the, the, devil, the devil wants us to get into that kind of a mode rather than standing in faith that Jesus has the ability to turn things around and to bring things uh, into his peace and so uh, so that's what he wants us to do is to stay in peace stay in peace by just meditating on he on him he is peace. If you get out of peace, you're getting, you're drifting away from your focus on Jesus. So the Lord wants us to stay in peace, not to get into turmoil, to be to be peaceful. Sometimes that's hard to do, but uh, but in reality, that's our spiritual warfare. Our spiritual warfare is to bring our mind under control and to bring our and to bring everything under the governance of being governed by the Word of God uh, to. Put on the full armor of God, the, sh the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, and and uh, the word of God. And so, uh, we we bring everything into captivity in our mind. We that's our warfare. We we take everything. That's Sometimes we think about well, it's just the devil attacking us, and that's when I need to stand up and do this. No, you need to stand up against against anything that's bringing you. That's anything that's attacking your joy and your peace. You know when Peter was uh, was arrested and James had been had a, he was beheaded when Herod arrested James and had him beheaded and then uh, Herod saw that was people really were pleased with that so he arrested Peter and had him in prison and and was guarded with four uh, with sixteen soldiers and so uh, you know Peter could have been in a turmoil because the next day he could have lost his head but Peter was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Peter was sleeping in the middle of all this and um, and the angel came and had to wake him up tell him to get his clothes on because he was getting ready to leave the angel was taking him out of prison so uh, we want to be in such a state of peace it doesn't affect uh, the things going on around us don't affect our sleep they don't affect our our peace that we stay in perfect peace we're not in tension if you feel in tension you're not in peace uh, if you if you start if your mind starts looking what ifs and what ifs and what if that uh, your mind should be looking at this is what the Lord said he would do this is what the Lord said he would do um, whatever things I desire when I pray I believe I received them and I will have them and so the Lord wants us to stay in his peace by focusing on his promises and not to get caught up in the turmoil because we have the ability in peace to to that's where that's where the Holy Spirit is 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 in peace uh, he's He's living in you. Peace is living in you. And so uh, when we have peace enough that we can pray, have enough peace to pray, and bring those circumstances around us that are in turmoil and turbulence, bring them right into 
bring them right into the kingdom of God, under the kingdom of God, under Jesus' rule and reign. And when we do that, we can, we can bring the circumstances around us uh, into peace. That's what everybody needs is peace so they can think right. And people get in trouble when they can't think right. That's when you see people doing all kinds of stupid things and riots and, and uh, just all kinds of things that are in turmoil. When you see turmoil, you know that they're not in peace. Jesus isn't anywhere around it. And so uh, we need to pray for those people that, that they would be in peace and uh, that Jesus would invade their lives, that Jesus would touch their lives and give them the ability to see what's actually happening, that, that the enemy is trying to bring all this turmoil to get us out of peace so we don't pray. But, but the, a, trigger to, a trigger to let you know that this is the time to pray is when you start to feel that anxiety, when you start to feel that turmoil, when you start to, to see things going on around you and in the world that are not right, that are things that would cause uh, worry and those kind of things. When you start seeing those things, that's a key that you need to pray. And so uh, that's the time when you just get in peace and just say, Lord, I just want you to pray through me and pray the things you desire right now. And if you if you speak in tongues, you can pray in tongues, you can pray in your natural language. But, uh, but to pray and just ask the Lord to bring his peace into every situation uh, around you. And, uh, and people will come and try to get you out of peace. You know, what, how dare you try to be in peace? <laughs> but really, you're the answer they're looking for. Is, is is being in peace and quiet and comfort, uh, knowing that Jesus is going to take care of you and that he loves you and he's going to take care of the people that you love and he's going to bring the circumstances that you care about under control and under his peace. Uh, but our job is to be self-controlled enough that we can that we can pray. We need to be under that kind of control so that we can not get engaged in all the, the turmoil and to just back off and just say, wait a minute, Jesus, what do you say about this? And I just want to pray that you would intervene here, that your will would be done, that your kingdom would come, and all the circumstances that are that are happening right now that are trying to cause a lack of peace. And so uh, uh, that's Jesus' privilege for you to do that, to be an ambassador of peace. Jesus was filled with joy more than any of his companions, the word tells us. Uh, so being around Jesus was joyful. And even though there was turmoil, there were people being crucified everywhere, there were uh, there was religious persecution and turmoil all around, Jesus was full of joy and full of peace because he, he, is, he is everything that people is, are looking for in their lives. He's healing, he's deliverance, he's hope, uh, he's He's the promise. He's the author of all the promises. He's the Word of God. He's everything that people need. And that gives him joy. You, you can laugh along with Jesus because he's, he's made us his ambassadors. Uh, we're his ambassadors. And so uh, we're, we're, just, we're just sharing his ministry. And so when we're sharing his ministry, we're bringing peace and joy to all those around us and to ourselves too. So uh, anyway, it's a fun life to be a Christian when you look at things that way. When you get caught up in the turmoil, it's not, you know, you're just like everybody else, and you, you're, uh, you, you just need help. <laughs> so, uh, Jesus wants you to be the one that can be of help by bringing His Word and His Spirit into every situation, and that's what your, that's what your role is, is to be a peacemaker. And so, uh, I just pray, Lord Jesus, that you would everybody listen to this video, that you would give them supernatural ability to stay in peace when things all around them are in turmoil. And if, if things are going on right now that are bringing stress and confusion and anxiety, I pray that you would just pour out your spirit on the person listening, Lord, that they would just be engulfed with your spirit, that they would be filled with your peace, that they would be overcome with your joy, Lord, that uh, everything, Lord, that, that their confidence would be in you, that you're going to take care of it. And Lord, I ask you to send angels to intervene in every situation that's causing concern to my brothers and sisters. Send your angels to bring to bring help, to bring uh, miraculous deliverances, to bring miraculous provision. In Jesus' name, I pray that you would send your anointing to heal and uh, people would be set free from mental and physical turmoil and anguish and that, that you would just give them your peace and that, that that peace that passes all understanding would guard their heart and mind in Christ Jesus and that, uh, that they would live a... a starting right this moment, Lord, that your peace would engulf them, 
that they would live more and more of their life in peace, more more and more of their life in joy, and uh, and experience you to the fullness, Lord, because it's contagious. <laughs> and uh, we when we get infected with Jesus, it's contagious. And so uh, the Lord bless you. The Lord fill you with His peace. The Lord do great and awesome miracles for you. And I, ex I expect Him to do that, and I know He's going to do that. Well, God bless you, and have a wonderful day.